Hi, my name's Dan Delavan. I'm the owner-operator of Plaza Cutlery in Costa Mesa, California. We have a great selection. We also have a website, plazacutlery.com. And today we're going to be talking about knives. Most people refer to a steel as a sharpening steel, which is very inaccurate. A steel is just a realigner. It is not a sharpener. Probably the biggest question we get asked at Plaza Cutlery is, my steel doesn't do anything, it won't sharpen. It was never meant to. Your steel is just a, a maintainer, just deburs it and realigns the edge. That's all a steel does. If you've let your knife go to where they're dull, you haven't done anything with them for months, and then you try to use the steel, it isn't gonna help you. Okay, there are a lot of ways to use a steel, and Different people have tried different things, and if it works for them, it's great. I'm going to show you two ways in which they use the steel. Both of them uh, work very effectively. This is a simple way for most people. You stand it straight up on a cutting board or any piece of wood, very slight angle, 10 to 15 degrees. If you're having trouble deciding what the angle is, again, take a small branch off of a tree, you slice in between the bark and the wood. So it's just a slight angle, 10 to 15 degrees. Again, you're gonna start at the heel, go all the way down to the tip. The secret is between the elbow and the shoulder, that when you come down, you're pulling back. So it's the elbow and the shoulder drawing back. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And the backhand, whether you're, if you're right-handed, the left side is gonna be a struggle, just the opposite for a left-hander. But you're gonna alternate from one side to the other going heel to tip. You want a forward motion going down. You don't want to do this. You know, it might work a little bit, but you want that forward motion going from the heel to tip. So again, it's important to have a steel as long as your knife. The second way is to uh, hold the knife horizontal, the knife vertical. A lot of people are gonna go, oh, he's gonna cut himself. The only thing you move is your wrist so there's no way you can reach your hand. Knife starts at the heel, just turn it in from one side to the other. You can also tell whether it's a good piece of cutlery, you hear the little ringing sound. This is a uh, Hinkle's uh, Professional S, but from one side to the other. If you do try and do it this way, a lot of people go, oh, you gotta go away from you. The problem is if you're doing it correctly, again, you're going straight into the blade, when you're coming back, you're running that point towards your hand. So it's not something that you want to do. So again, this is the easiest way to do it because if you do have an accident and come up, it's the back side of the blade hitting you. So from heel to tip. If you do this as often as you can, your knives will stay good and sharp. And eventually the blade again it's going to slowly wear back and get thicker, then you will have to go to your stone at some point. The secret has always been one thing. You have to use it. You can't wait for the knives to get dull and then try to use the steel. It isn't going to help you.